Okay, so the Geek Speak show here at WonderCon Los Angeles with, uh, do we say Winona or Winona? Well, I say Winona, and I had to be corrected because I'm Canadian, so I'd say Winona. <laughs> Winona like Wyoming. Yeah. Like, why not? Because she'll blow your head off. That's what I yeah. say. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so with us is Bo. And then we, how, how you guys doing? We're doing great. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. Good. So it's so, a um, new show, obviously, on, on Sci-Fi. So uh, either one of you take it. Tell us all about it. I mean, you can get it as spoiler filled as you want or keep it as mysterious oh, as you okay. want. We can take off on that one. No, you start, sir. It's your baby. I just raised her. The uh, television series is based off the uh, graphic novels and comic books, Why Known Herb, that I've done 20 years this summer. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a celebration on that. So it started out, you know, when I was a little kid and TV was filled with westerns and monsters and I wanted to combine the two and probably about 1996 I found a way of letting them, you know, be published that to happen. Yeah, that's a great way to celebrate is to make it a live action oh, series. without a doubt. Yes, yeah, so, so um, there's been a few different versions of the uh, of the comic. Yes. What, if you can tell us, what, what version are we going to see in the series or is going to be just pick and choose from all of them you're gonna see the best version and that's because it is Good the answer. newest one and it's going to be they're using all the the my favorite things that when i was creating the series mm -hmm. it's emily has literally like cherry picked the best which is what you want and it's everything you want and nothing you don't need so she's done that and it and fact she's actually enhanced on a lot of it she's going to do the origin which a lot of people have been wanting me to do for 20 years and now she's done all the work and i can just sit back and smile and enjoy it okay so let's actually get in also um you go ahead and tell them um keep again same thing keep it as detailed as you want or? sure so i um i'm a showrunner who has been lucky enough to work in genre television and i've done a lot of shows with really strong female protagonists i was a showrunner of lost girl forever i worked on killjoys for sci-fi so IDW um, had this incredible property called Winona Earp with this kind of witty, badass female protagonist. Yeah. They were looking for a female writer, and honestly, when they brought it to me, it was as if they had cooked it up in a lab for me. It checked off every single one of my boxes. She's fun, she's witty, she's a mess, she's a descendant of Wyatt Earp, the greatest gunslinger of all time, but she's anything but a hero when we first meet her. Uh, and it's a supernatural western, which I feel is really due for a resurgence. I grew yeah. up in Alberta which is like Canada's Montana. So uh, I was really looking to get back there, and it's just been such a joy to be able to turn it into a TV series. Yeah. Was, was that the first time you heard about it, or had you heard about the I had heard book? about it in the past because I'm a pretty big comic book girl, but yeah. like I hadn't read it, I have to admit. But and as soon as I opened page one, I was like, yep, this is the one. I absolutely love this. Oh, my God, I hope they I hope they like my pitch for it. So, And uh, it's been quite a collaboration. Yeah, so, so when you, f you first got together for uh, to start meetings or, uh, and planning out the story or fleshing out the characters and everything, did, for you, since like, like you said, it is your baby, yeah. how, how hard is it? Because all that adaptations, they have to have some changes when it goes right. to the screen. Yeah. So for you, was it hard to give up some things or was it, okay, you know, just go ahead, do whatever you want? I, I was expecting the worst because a lot of my peers in comics have had a lot of their things turned into films yeah. and television. and. A lot of them have just griped about it. You know, they changed this, they changed that. And in my case, it was it was actually the reverse, where they made everything I've done look even better. And if you go into creativity with an open mind, that's exactly what you want. If it, She's going to take it to a whole wider audience than what I have in comic books. Because not everybody is a comic book reader, but almost everyone watches television. Yeah. And she is giving it the best representation that I could have possibly ever dreamed of. And this, is, this isn't this is any, uh, you know, I'm being interviewed by the media BS. I, tr I truly mean that. Yeah. Now, you as a showrunner, um, what do you, obviously, who you, you know who uh, girls, band girls are going to yeah. gravitate to this, but who else do you hope watches the show once it gets going? Anyone who likes television. Uh, I really think people who want a strong female protagonist, uh, you know, I am lucky enough to have like a fairly big um, LGBT fan base just because of my work with Lost Girl. Mm -hmm. um, people who just feel like they want something fun on television again, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like people who want a fun female protagonist, uh, like demon hunting, um, good wit, good fun, good action. I, I really hope everybody likes and it. wonderful but, scenery. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. We filmed in Alberta, which is absolutely gorgeous. We had the crew who did The Revenant and Fargo, so it just looks so different for a fantasy sci-fi show, you know? There's a lot of 
we, you know, we have a lot of amazing spaceship shows, very claustrophobic. This is really the opposite, you know. This is kind of the unknown of the landscape and those kind of sweeping vistas. And then along comes some demon, you know, crawling towards town. And I, I hope that feels fresh and cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're just describing it. Yeah. It's, uh, so it premieres April 1st. Yeah. No, no joke. It premieres April 1st. <laughs> I hope not until they put it on the air. I hope <laughs> it shows up. Yeah. Yeah. Well. It's the ultimate long con if uh, they don't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so is it a full order or is it a limited? It's a full order. Order, baby, 13 hours. We mm. shot them all, shot all winter, uh, and I believe the network's really pleased with it. But no one's more pleased than us, so there you yeah. go. Yes, and, and as a writer, especially, and in, in, again, in your creation, you, you go into this hope, hoping that you get a second season and, and beyond, hopefully. So have you fleshed out where you want to go, or are you just going to wait till? Oh, man, I'm, so, I'm so tired after shooting the first season. You're lucky I'm wearing pants. <laughs> Don't pan down, just in case. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I love these characters. And, you know, Bo sort of did a companion series of comic books with the show, and I've been inspired yeah. by them for second season. So, yeah, you say yes, and I'm pretty sure that's good. We'll just go. Yeah, well, yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's All right. It. Yeah, so... so you know, again, as we're recording this, it's this Friday, I think, April 1st. Yeah, next Friday. On, 10 yeah. PM. Yeah, yeah, on Sci-Fi. Eastern Standard Time. Both of you guys look right into the camera. Tell them why they should see it. You should see Winona Earp because it is the greatest show you're ever going to watch about a demon hunting cowgirl with exploding brain cells and beautiful women walking around the Western. Sold. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I said that great. Probably not that another one. one. Yeah, exactly. I can't add anything to that except maybe I'll show up in the second season naked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? That's good. Well, that's a draw, sir. Yeah. 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 That that'll, that'll get you renewed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, really. Yeah, that was great. Seriously, thanks. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah. A lot. thanks a lot. Man. Thank you. Yeah, like, thanks. I hope you guys like it.